Stan Gibalisco here. I'm looking at a phase shift keying display on my computer, which shows, um, well, right now there's only one signal showing up. You can hear it. This is called a waterfall display. Frequency is on the horizontal axis. It scrolls down with time and then signal strength is indicated by the color and the signals usually show up as yellow and orange traces on the screen. We can select any one of these signals by manipulating the mouse clicking in on the trace and then you will see the printing beginning up at the top. This signal is very weak Here's a strong one. Let's see what he's saying. He is closing out a contact. Uh, he's just finishing up with someone. This mode called phase shift keying, or PSK, is one of the most efficient digital modes that ham radio operators can use because as you can see the signals only occupy I'm clicking on another one only occupy a very narrow band of frequencies CQ means calling anybody anybody who wants to answer them that's how phase shift keying works it only occupies a very narrow bandwidth it goes quite slow, but in exchange for that slowness, you get a very good signal-to-noise ratio. You can get a, a, a lot of signal through with a very low amount of transmitter power. That's one of the things I like about phase shift keying. Let's go back, click on this guy or gal as the case may be. KC2OUV is the call letter of this station, the call sign. Now we're only hearing one signal. Here's another one coming in a little different frequency. LU1BR. That's the guy uh, that I worked last night. He's in Buenos Aires, Argentina. His name is Luis. I know that already. I worked him with only 7 watts of transmitter output power to a whip antenna mounted on the deck of my house. And this mode was efficient enough that I could contact him with that low amount of power. Here's another signal. KC2OUV again. I guess somebody's calling that person can't figure out who it is yet. Anyway, ham radio operators have their own jargon similar to internet jargon. In fact, I think the internet jargon came in large measure from ham radio. Uh, but ham radio, of course, requires no intervening infrastructure. If everything else fails, all the power goes down in the whole world, Ham radio will still work. Two people with battery-powered transmitters on opposite sides of the world will still be able to talk to each other, even if everything else goes down. You can't say that about the Internet.